This week in UTEP will unveil its Centennial Plaza after nearly two years of construction. Yeah, the main attraction, a beautiful handcrafted Bhutanese temple. But is it a religious shrine at a state university? Welcome back everyone. Let's Sorry. get the answer from ABC7's Maria Garcia. She is live in the studio with that story. Maria? Hi, Rick and Estella. When we walked into that temple today, we were really blown away. It is meticulously crafted by Bhutanese artisans. And even though it's technically a temple, UTEP officials say it won't play that role on campus. I think it goes well with the school. The yeah, buildings, yeah. So it's aesthetically pleasing. This is a Lakong, which translates to House of God. Found in Bhutanese villages as a place for prayer, it was all handcrafted with no nails or modern machinery. UTEP Vice President Gary Eden says it helps show students a different part of the world. And realize uh, that there's a huge global world out there and uh, one of the ways to get best prepared for that global world is to understand differences of people, beliefs, cultures, all those kinds of things. Students can now see the ornate walls that depict the story of Buddha, and even though a Lakong has a spiritual purpose in Bhutan, not the case at UTEP. So this is really a Bhutanese cultural center. Uh, we're not going to have religious ceremonies in there. We don't have a resident uh, religious person from Bhutan who's going to, um, you know, share thoughts about a specific re religion. So no organized religious activity is allowed and students we spoke with say no need to question the Lakong's place on campus. Uh, I think they need to relax. <laughs> it's completely a, a cultural thing, it's not a yeah. religious thing whatsoever. The Lakong was on display at the 2008 Smithsonian Folklife Festival in Washington, D.C. as a gift to the U.S. with the stipulation it be displayed at UTEP after. Absolutely stunning. Okay, Maria, thank you very much. The mascot.